Today I'll be talking about taking a Crazy Fly Nano quadcopter, tiny little flying thing, and adding a camera and wireless transmission to it. So, before we go into that, let's have a look at what a Crazy Fly nanocopter is. It's just this tiny little thing with a PCB board and a battery attached to it, and you fly it using a PlayStation 3 or other controller. Very nice and open sourcey and runs great. I've done a video about it in the past, you can see here, flies very nice. If you want to see more about it, check that out. But today isn't about the quadcopter itself, it's about how I did this. There we go. Let's see, there's a video getting transmitted from the camera there. Very impressive. So let's do a run through of what we've got here. We've got uh, orange and yellow doing a connection to the wireless transmission unit there. You can see it's very small. We're talking 0.6 of a gram here. And this cable here, so this is all testing kind of stuff, runs into the camera. This is the analog PAL based camera. Specs aren't really that impressive, but they work well. When you, This is one gram by the way, the, the camera itself. So it's all been wired up to the uh, transmission transmitter, sorry, I've been saying that wrong. The other part I had to build was this receiver. So this receives on 2.4 gigahertz, similar to your Wi-Fi kind of stuff. The bit picture there was a Arduino Digistump. Uh, yes, I got Digispark Digistump. That's a portable projector over there, so I'm going to turn this uh, quadcopter on to see the uh, power go through it. Now, again, I'll iterate. The connections, that, like the yellow and orange cables in the bottom right there, are held there by gravity. So you'll see a, a fair bit of trouble I have with uh, trying to turn it on. So powering the receiver, again, by the digi stump in the top right. Pretty happy with it working by that, actually. So portable projector. The grey thing in the middle of the screen is sending the transmission wirelessly over to uh, the AV signal there. So blue means the signal's dropped out which is uh, more my fault rather than the actual uh, transmitter. So once this is running, everything all works pretty well. The draw of both the parts is we're looking at around, I think it's 20 milliwatts for the transmitter and 70 to 90 for the actual camera. So overall it's uh, decent. It needs to be pretty low because Crazy Fly itself only has a 170 milliamp hour um, battery on it and that has to power the actual device so I'm thinking of putting a larger battery on there so it's just testing out giving it the thumbs up works pretty good so let's have a look at the how I got to there in the first place so to test it out I've been you know, sticky taping it together as you can see here at the moment before I are doing a before I do a more professional mounting of it which is what I'll have to look into further so to test that it worked, I uh, sticky taped it all together, and before that, I had to uh, solder all the parts together. The bit, the gold bit at the bottom right there is the antenna. I had a horrible time trying to put that together, but eventually I got there, and it, it's barely sticking there. So at the bottom there, I uh, had to solder on the channel selectors. Eventually got that all right, so they were working on the same signal with the uh, camera. In this signal, it's um, it's actually upside down. So that's uh, my bad, but not to worry. I'll have to uh, fluoro it up to uh, figure out what's going on in the future so I don't uh, get the same kind of mishap. I'd love to have some kind of way of uh, being able to adjust the mounting once it's on there. For the moment, it's a uh, good old sticky tape. So, working good. You can see it's uh, connected there and it's being powered up and moving around I'm not going to take off yet because I still want to uh, make it a bit more solid because I don't think it would survive a crash in this kind of state so this is the crazy fly client you can see I'm sending signals so they're fine it's not interrupting with the actual uh, the operation of the camera so you can see they're working fine if the rotors powered up still works good so overall as a success so far I'm very uh, proud of it working like that and next step will be to make the mounting be more durable so I can actually do proper flying with it. My Twitter, if you'd like to follow my gadgets and stuff, is SuperH. Thanks for watching.